Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video and it is my What Is It by Birchbox. I cannot believe I have this back. It's been way too long. I didn't like it and I was watching Tracy and Stephanie's videos this whole time and I still really wasn't a fan but I kind of wanted something to compare my Ipsy bag to because I feel like Ipsy has been slowly slipping through the cracks and I don't really like that so I wanted something to compare it to and oh my god my phone's going off I got the iPhone 6 guys yay I'm so excited I love my phone and it's amazing I'll do some phone Q&A's coming up in a bit um but yeah this was the box that I got and I got it a few days ago and I was like well I didn't open it because I thought it was the May bag the May box but I'm like wait when they said they shipped it, it was in April, and then they said another one was shipping in May, so I was like, okay. So I've been giving a chance to try Birchbox out again, and I kind of like slightly opened it, and I like felt for the um, paper, and I read it, and it said, um, we hope you enjoy your April box. So I was like, okay, well, I already did my Ipsy bag for April, so I'm going to do my Birchbox for April, and I'm so excited. I have a package I'm sending someone. Um cosmetics council I'll link her below I have a package I'm sending her and I think I'm gonna put some of the stuff in here it is seriously the cutest box ever so I love it and it's a perfect like packing box so I think I might use this for some of the stuff so the card was on top and that's and I didn't look at it at first because I was like well I don't know if it's if it's the May one I don't want to look because I want to do it unboxing with my mate Ipsy but I was like okay so it says tell us what you think of your April box and the card is so cute too. Like, how could you not love this? And it's got adorable peach parchment paper. If this is not parchment paper, it's like tissue paper. So this is really stinking cute. So, and then so this stuff, I wasn't, this isn't a terrible box. So let's just go into it. The first thing that I, I've already opened this. I opened this actually last night, um, is a Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. So it comes in a little box like this. And it's actually a pretty good size for a mask. I like how it's not in foil because I don't use a lot. I usually can get two or three uses out of something like this and if it's in a foil packet I'm going to use it once and throw the rest out. So if you can, even if it's a small sample, I'm just happy it's not foil packet. So that's kind of cool and it's just like this. Super adorable. Blech. Let me stick it up my nose. Um, this is, oh, it says this is not a mask. Cleanse skin and leave slightly damp. Spread Spread gel thickly and quickly over for your forehead, cheeks, chin, neck. Quickly begin massaging areas. After 15 seconds, solid should form under fingertips. This means the peel is activating correctly as the gel is now combining with dead skin. Massage, ma massage for 2-3 minutes or until all of the gel has combined with dead skin. Cleanse area again to save time. Try using the peel in the shower. Okay, so this is not a mask. <laughs> Blah. I might try that. And then this is the cutest thing ever. It's the tiniest sample, but again, not a foil packet. So this is a lip and cheek stain, and it's such a pretty color. This literally reminds me of the little tiny lipsticks my grandma has, my grandma used to have. She used to have all the little tiny red ones, like samples, but this is so cute. It's such a peachy color. I already have um, cheek stuff on. It reminds me of something, too. Reminds me of like a fruit. Reminds me of a strawberry. Yeah. Mm. It's very cute. Very um, subtle, easy, good for throwing in your purse. I like it. So that's cute. And this we got was a Temple Spa, and this is a Be Still Calming Face and Body Cream. Body Balm, sorry. Very good size sample. This is good for in my purse as well. And I don't know, oh, that <laughs> I smelled this last night. I figured out what this smells like. It smells like the lotions you get, and it's just, it smells like a hotel to me. Like a hotel. And I, I asked my brother what he thought it smelled like, and he goes, it smells like a hotel. So that was that. And then I saw this and I got really concerned, but it's actually not terrible. And the first things I got was a CC cream with Omega 3 and Omega 6. It's a SPF 35. It is a little mini sunscreen. Great for just sampling. Um, this is probably like, um, 
probably like a one or two use. It says light medium. So let's see if it actually matches my skin tone because I am the lightest shade in the universe. Oh my god, that is dark. Um, that comes out so stinking dark. Let's see what it blends to. Okay, so it kind of blends to your skin tone, but not really. So, I don't know, it's kind of orangey. I might need to pass that along. I don't know. And then this, I thought was... I thought this was semi-decent. You know the tiny, tiny perfume samples we get? Well, this one is a Yogini perfume sample, but it's big. Like, it is a pretty big size. So, I was kind of, like, impressed that it's a big enough size that I could literally throw in my purse and use if I was, like, if I had to go out on a date or if I had, like, work or something that day or I was going, like, a trip that day. This, I feel like, could last me, like, one day, one or two days, depending on how much I used it. So, I like perfume samples. If they're like this, I wouldn't mind it. I don't like the ones that are literally, like, half the size. It's like, what am I going to do with it? So, that was my first Birch Box. I have to say it's not terrible. Um, we'll see how, if it gets any better, if I want to keep going with it. But, yeah, thanks, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.